somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. Over there's Diamond Dave Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. That's the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we're checking out Arcane. This is episode four. Those first three were incredible, but this one maybe has a little bit lighter mood. It's called Happy Progress Day. So I'm sure everything's <laughs> fine. Can't wait to get to it. I'm sure after the events of last episode, this will be a nice hunky dory, whistling Dixie episode. So I'm ready, willing, and able to see where it picks off after one hell of an ending. I gotta say for I, episode I, three. I gotta be honest, guys. I'm not feeling lighthearted <laughs> or hunky dory uh, after last episode, and I don't feel that this is the direction it's going. I think maybe there's a little bit of uh, irony or sarcasm in the title, Dave. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm with you, Oak. I don't feel any of that. <laughs> I mean, we just we lost a lot. All right. And, a little, uh, bit, little bit. Yeah, yeah I mean, <laughs> I, again, Whistling Dixie. it was a high. It, the bar was been set pretty high. I don't know how the rest of the episodes. Obviously, we're going to go find out. But, man, that bar has been set high. Bad idea to wear long sleeves in a hot place. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, you got me! <laughs> Psyched me out. Now let's see what they discover with the uh, the magic here. Our city is about to turn 200 years old. It's shaping up to be an amazing progress day. Stanwick Padidley. Everything he built either exploded, melted, or toppled over. What is that? Got a cat that looks like him? He realized nothing he could accomplish could compare to the contributions of his students. The council has recommended you give the Progress Day speech this year. You always give that speech. <laughs> Your hex gates have done wonders for our city, brought scholars from distant lands. Okay. Time so, jump. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I, I, I has to be. I will do my best to make Piltover proud, Professor. Perhaps there's something in the lab you might be able to share. Victor and I have just to think. The next chapter of Hextech. You certainly have something to live up to, my boy. Ooh. Okay, so they're able to bring a bunch of the greatest scientific minds of the world all together, traveling instantaneously. Wow. Oh. What? They really had a lot of... Jeez. Dude. They just beam ya. Beam me up, Scotty. Okay, Holy wow. I'm glad the intro just started because now we can kind of talk about, like, how much time has passed because they... You they can't really tell me that was overnight. Yeah. Well, I mean, he didn't seem. Yeah, Jace doesn't look doesn't any older. Look like he aged yeah. that much. No. no, he was already in his like early twenties or something like yeah. that. So I think it could have been just a course of a couple of years. Yeah, you know, maybe three to five at the most. But see, they Fill over progress. Good. Look at that! They got his picture up all over the place. Oh, Kate <laughs> serves you right. You still avoiding her? I'm working. I mean, there's so much crime to thwart outside your family's tent. <laughs> you can only imagine the strings she pulled to have me posted here. She'd do anything to keep me from seeing the real world. I'm giving the big address tonight. We really have to send it to Anarchy. Wow, this is cool. Yeah, we saw that guy in the opening credits. Mark is that the stuff? That's the stuff. From your friend, downtown. <laughs> Hoverboards! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. I'm guessing we know who this is. They're expanding. Straight from more below. Burn it all. Yeah, Casey Jones? <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. She's here. She? Powder? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we're going to find out mm -hmm. here soon enough. Uh, they got oh, a few okay. Barrels. How Seven. creepy is that? Uh, swing. Uh -oh. Look at that. Yep, yep here that we was go. her, and now she's got them all figured out. Hi. Oh! It is! I... I can't lose you. Want to fight? Oh, what? Oh, I'll hit her in that board. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 
Didn't expect. Uh, you're to gonna destroy oh, your own just, ship and everybody on she it. She just what took the out. Hell? She might have taken out one of her own guys. Yeah. The tattooed dude. Oh, oh that's, that's a cool, a cool shot. shot. You are supposed to guard the cargo. Oh, they got some. Beast I'm guessing. Down in there? Uh, do not uh, mess with powder. Uh, how about the cargo? That's what, what I was exactly saying. There was some kind of monster the in there. We just need to show them it's safe. We stabilize the crystal like they ask. What do we have on the docket? A crystal of magical energy yeah, too volatile to be handled outside our workshops. Hextech was supposed to bring magic into the life of the common man. A Hextech gemstone. Gemstone. I don't think they're going to want to be able to give this to anybody and everybody, though. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, they control it now. S stabilized. This new version is stable and absolutely safe. Oh, look at that. The gemstone can power virtually anything. It is like him putting in the <laughs> stones, infinity stones. The Atlas Gauntlets. Gauntlets, nice. Yeah. The Hex Claw, a mechanical arm. Dr. Octavius. <laughs> I want Hextech to be a tool for us to build a new world. Oh, <gasps> oh easy. <coughs> He's smoking. Obviously, there are a few kinks to iron out and screws to be tightened. We can be improving lives with Hextech now. Putting that kind of power into everyone's hands is dangerous. He's got kind of a point. Yeah, I wouldn't be thrilled here in a decade either. Yeah. I wouldn't be thrilled about a decade, but I also wouldn't be thrilled to be like, oh, we can just give it to anybody. Yeah, yeah, everybody's, everybody's got it now. You know? Everybody's got those lasers. Little yeah. kids get after them. Don't, don't. <laughs> I was going to say, the little. Num, 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 num. Oh, look at her. Oh, he did make it though. Oh, he oh. did not oh, make Majesty. it. She shot me. Who shot you? Who were you working for? I can't. He'll kill me. Who? You're supposed to be guarding your mother's tent. Oh, that guy's back. I was Marcus. sheriff. But we have a chain of command for a reason. I understand. If I could just question him, I'll I could... take it from here. <sighs> Since you're looking for more work, you can take the graveyard shift tonight at the fair. I want this one on a boat to Stillwater Prison. Yes, sir. I assume we're going to catch up with Vi now for a little bit. Get Was that kind of like a pimp that you showed? <laughs> Looked like uh, Vin Diesel's Triple X jacket. Ugh. Oh, this is... <laughs> oh, wow. So they made it into like... A... Oh, they arm wrestling into like glass? glass? Yeah, yeah, that's what it looked like. Yeah, the, the underworld has really changed. She fired on us. There are always mishaps in battle. It wasn't a mishap. She froze up and lost her shit. She's a problem and we all know it. Who's we? It was your job to make sure things went smoothly. You failed. Don't disappoint me again. The world's growing smaller every day. Thanks to the hex gates. The topsiders are leaving us further and further behind. What happened? She already told you. One of those firelight wackos was a girl. Your sister's gone. Sisters, right? You can't live with them, can't stuff them back in the old baby maker. What? I need to know that I can rely on you. It won't happen again. Uh, I can't even watch animation. Oh, give him a shot right in the eye. Okay, she seems a little... coffee cup on the table there, a little throwback to what she used to be. Mm -hmm. She seems a little uh, off the rails. Yeah. It's different. And that wasn't Vi, who we thought it was. In the... the only one actually worth my time is him. Oh, he's one pilt over his heart. Man of progress, that's what it says. Got that from Hugh Grant. <laughs> if there's a time to present a new creation, it is now. Piltover needs a leader who looks forward. Someone like you. You really believe that? Hextech has the potential to change everything. I've already spoken to several potential investors. Everyone wants Hextech for themselves. Give the people a glimpse of the future. Hmm. Well, now he's getting some ideas floating around in his head. Practice makes perfect. It wasn't her. 
Oh, oh wow. she's seeing the ghosts. Now he thinks I'm weak. I'm not weak. Oh, I'm gonna show him. Y'all see. You should come up with me. We're partners. No. Please join me in welcoming. Oh, interesting. Different language. Mm -hmm. I know many of you probably didn't expect to see me here today. A few years ago, the Hex Case opened their ports to the world and made Piltover prosper beyond anything we could have ever imagined. Ah, uh, world portals. Mm -hmm. We're not done yet. We've created something new for you that we will share with you in 10 years. When the time is right. Things that will bring an end to your hardships. We vow to keep pressing forward. For we are the city of progress. And our future is bright. Oh, so he rebounded all right. Yeah. From... yeah. Cue the pyro. So it seems. Yeah, she's gone. That's not what they wanted to hear. Mm -hmm. Pardon us if we aren't quite so refined as you, m'lady. What are you even doing here, Kiriman? <laughs> Don't you have a cocktail party to attend? Fire! Fire! I'm betting it's a doll. I'm it. betting it's one of those uh, monkey things from uh, Powder. Yeah, so well, Jinx. Sounds now. like a trap. Yep. Right there. Look at all those. Did you see those hanging? Yeah. Totally by accident. Oh, no. That's her calling no! card. Whoa. I like that first person view. And Jinx has got a little oh. bit of Joker in her. Yep. A little Harley Quinn. Mm. Gemstone is gone. The situation is still developing. How did it come to this? The Undercity cannot be controlled. Not by us. Could the trenchers build a weapon with the stolen crystal? If the right person got a hold of it, it's possible they could utilize its energy. It was my responsibility to safeguard this technology, and I failed. I have come before you to recommend that we suspend all Hextech operations until the situation is resolved, including our laboratories, the refinery, and the Hex Gates. Have you lost your mind? The Hex Gates must remain open. Piltover status as a global shipping lane depends on it. Shouldn't the safety of Piltover be our first priority? If we shut down the Hex Gates, the city will suffer. We became reliant on it. There'll be no city. Radical solution. What are you suggesting? I propose that a new chair be brought forth and that House Talus be elevated to this august body. What? As a counselor, he will have the resources necessary to protect all our investments. Does the boy have any experience? Only that of a scientist. I believe Counselor Medarda is right. Hextech security should be administered by a scientist. Half a dozen enforcers, dead. Enforcers, dead. Do you have any idea what you've done? I do. I've had a break in the case. Shouldn't you be resting? <laughs> you know how I've suspected there's a single mind behind the Undercity's violence? I think whoever attacked the square is our suspect. All this time, they've kept their dealings localized to the Undercity. If I can figure out who made this, it could lead me directly to whoever's behind it all. How do you intend to prove any of this? If I can just work this out. Marcus will have to listen. Yeah, there's one thing I've learned about the council. They need more than just theories. Mm -hmm. Since when did you concern yourself with the council's opinion? Well, since uh... I became a counselor. <laughs> have they discovered how to govern with grease in a spanner? Ha ah. <laughs> ha. I was actually hoping you might consider joining my staff. That's a ceremonial position. I'd live behind a desk, but I already have a job. After the attack, your parents spoke to the sheriff. Oh. This is the best I could do. He was all my parents. Kate. Get out. Oh, man. My parents got the job mm. revoked. Yep. They said no more of that. Too dangerous. Well, she was just supposed to be hauling drunks to the drunk tank, not getting involved in anything serious. Uh, explosions? Yeah. yeah. Hey, she's the one that even saw the fire to begin with. Yep. Folks in here are usually very talkative. This one was hit by friendly fire. Inmate 2135. Uh, well, there's been an incident. What kind of incident? The... Oh. You'll be able to as soon as he can move his jaw again. Whose voice is that? That sounds very familiar. 
Oh, I think that's uh, this is bye. that's our girl. I, I saw some pink hair. Yep, it's bye. Who the hell are you? Oh, oh come on! Come on. I cannot believe minutes. it's over. Wow. That, these uh, are going by so, so quick. quick. So quick. All right, guys, <laughs> that was episode four. It flew by. Oh, my God. We had ourselves a time jump. The entire city is different. Powder, who we once knew, is now Jinx, who is completely, seems to be off completely off, off her rocker. A <laughs> uh, mixture of Harley Quinn and the Joker there. And uh, apparently Vi's been locked up. <laughs> What's that? I said that's literally what I was going to say. It's oh, a mix between yeah, Harley Quinn and the Joker, Joker. Oh, literally. So pretty... if you call my reaction on camera, I was like, well. <laughs> <laughs> But no, so an amazing story like we see we're going to have. Two people at odds. I think Caitlin knew where to go get some answers. Uh, obviously, going to go after Vi. Here we thought it was maybe the uh, the Batista lookalike uh, guy that uh, survived the airship attack, but not the case. She knew who Whoa. she was going for. And so. man, things are getting real interesting because they just kind of let the Undercity. They just kind of let it grow and do do its own thing. Not uh, regulating it now. There seems like they're paying the paying the bill for that one, so to speak. Uh, Jace is like the grand savior. His pictures yeah. up everywhere. Yeah. He, he thinks he's Hugh Grant from Dungeons Man and Dragons. Of progress. <laughs> he's uh, he's on the blimps and everything. So uh, it's getting Old really mug. interesting. He does seem to still have. Uh, you know, his kind of level head and a little bit of humanity, all joking aside, you know, he still seems to care about his assistant. He wanted uh, Caitlin to be safe, wanted her to become his head of security. But how is he going to get involved? You know, we have the hex gate tech. We have the hex gates rather, and the technology uh, we saw a little bit with the glove and the uh, the Doc Ock laser uh, beam that was pretty impressive. So who knows what else they can come up with and where it's going to go? But this time jump was absolutely insane with the the animation of the faces of Milo and and Klangon in there that they showed mm -hmm. in uh, in Jinx's little spot. She's obviously dealing with a ton of trauma, a ton of guilt and uh wow she's she's gonna need some help for sure yeah i love how they did that with her talking where she would be in this spot and then like over there you know talking to herself and then even even when she was talking to uh victor like how she was just going back and forth and all this other stuff this is this, this is a really cool episode how they jumped forward they had the like the smugglers at the beginning and right away jinx as we now know her saw right ahead of that and then marcus is now still involved he's in the spot that our previous uh, enforcer, I can't remember her name. Off yeah. chance that got that got deleted the last episode. We see that he's now in control, and I don't think he's going to be as for all in favor of keeping some uh, some equity in between the top and bottom. So yeah, because he gonna, pulled Vi out of there. Yeah, and we're going to see. Yeah, he he kept her away from the, from harms and now at the beginning. Up. And so now we're going to see where he plays in that, which wasn't very much in this episode, but. I mean, we'll see going on, but just seeing how the time jump and how everything has been starting to change, they found the technology they need to do. They have that beam that helps out with the whole city, but then he was smart enough to realize we can't just give this to everybody. And then lo and behold, Jinx blows some stuff up and gets it. So now we're going to see what she does with all this technology. It was funny. One of the things that, uh, that we discussed in, uh, few of the previous episodes and that we talked about, you know, I had commented on, I think earlier, I don't know if it'll make the cut is what if the technology got into the wrong hands? Well, <laughs> what if is about to play out right in front of us and, uh, it couldn't happen to a better person and more mentally unstable from what it appears <laughs> as jinx, um, an interesting kind of twist for her because, you know, she's never lacked ambition. That was one of the things that we saw in the first three episodes. She always wanted to be part of the fight. She wanted to, you know, get her hands dirty and be out there doing battle. And now she's out there doing it, but it seems that she's become somewhat of a scientist herself <laughs> uh, in regards to, you know, coming up with all these little explosive gadgets and all these dangerous They're tools. starting to work. And she's also a little bit unhinged, um, as we saw on the, uh, it's not a blimp, it's an airship because yep. it does have a metal frame. Yep, as metal they, hull. As metal, a hull. metal hull, yep. rather, mm -hmm. as they explained. It's a um, balloon, right? She went nuts. She just was, you know, just b blowing everything 
everything up. Just, you know, just, you know, going just all willy nilly with the uh, with uh, what looked like a helicopter slash minigun. Um, everybody was fair game. There was nobody that she avoided. Uh, nobody uh, that uh, that got saved from her line of fire. A lot of people took friendly fire, as, as was discussed, and she did a lot of damage. Of course, she went after some of the uh, the enforcers as well. Um, so she's out there, um, just wreaking all kinds of havoc. Um, and it's going to be dangerous, especially now that she has one of the stabilized crystals that, as we saw, uh, the laser itself, I mean, that's just one thing that this can do is wildly, (laughs) wildly dangerous and destructive. So, um, there's a lot for us to worry about. Um, I think answer brought it up. Um, one thing that we saw is how much has changed from the top side to the underworld. Mm. The top side seems like everything is thriving. Things are going good. We got people coming from other parts of the world through their teleporters. Um, But with Vandergon, the underworld has pretty much gone completely unchecked. And so it's kind of, you know, this this gap that we've seen between the top side and the underside and kind of a, you know, a story that we've seen play out in the real world, as far as that gap between, you know, first class and the lower class. And it's really interesting how they're going to try to, you know, bring back any sort of balance. Um, And of course we saw towards the end that uh, it looks like Vi is still uh, alive and well, uh, and what would appear to be some very, very deep underworld prison, just practicing those those punches. So I guess Marcus did take her in then. Yeah, another very, very intense uh, episode, um, and uh, again, broken record, but I think we all are on the same page saying, wow, this feels like it goes so fast and that's <sighs> volumes to just how much we're invested when it just flies by like that. These aren't short episodes. They're no. 40 minutes long yeah. and, and they just, they just fly by. Um, but it's such great storytelling, such great animation. It's interesting to see how, you know, Jace was, you know, almost excommunicated, you know, yeah. early on. And now he's the man of progress yeah. on coffee mugs and on their airships and stuff like that. So a little comeback story. Yeah. The time jump really, um, really, you know, ushered in, uh, or at least reflected to us just massive, massive change, some for good, some for bad. And what it appears is everything in between. So it'll be interesting to, uh, to see how this story further develops in the next episodes. Yeah. I almost felt like this was a, uh, a reset of sorts, but in a good way, in a very good way, because we, because of the time jump, now we pick up from where, you know, the, the remaining characters are. Uh, it was great to see where, uh, as you guys you, uh, spoke well on, you know, the powder jinx, who's now <laughs> like the Harley Quinn, the Joker uh, of this series now with just the way they have her navigate through this whole thing now. The the one thing I started picking up on is when she was by herself throwing those things around like it was nothing they one clearly showed us that she has honed in on those skills. Yep. There's no more messing around with that. They all uh, work. They all work, which they showed <laughs> dangerous. Very, very, vo- very, very well they showed us there as that she times. was tossing them off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but she kept thinking to herself out loud that, uh, you know, I'm not weak. I'm not weak. Or however she was saying that. Here, with the, the blue crystal, she was trying to prove to Silco where she was thinking, oh, he thinks I'm weak. Well, now she proved uh, her worth to him because after he said we're weeks behind, and then you know the I'm weak, then did what she did what she did, yep. got the warp, gave it to the person in the wrong hands, as Dave was mentioning. <laughs> I mean, it sets up for something pretty chaotic yep. that's going to happen, and, and the way they're going with these episodes, I don't know if it's going to be next episode yeah. or a couple down the line. Yeah, but. Again, uh, this was the Jinx, and at least in my eyes, the Jinx episode. Right. But of course, showing the uh, the sub plot of everyone else mm. that's involved. I really did think it was that Empress. Uh, I really did because her put, her up. plan. Boom! She's like, "Well, I got an idea," yeah. and then just happened didn't to even work miss out. a beat. Yeah. 
But yep. I should have known it was powder jinx. So yeah. they they get they got you with that one pretty good. They did. As, I as was sold hook line. Well, it's just you the way almost were selling it to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the way she was. Oh, the order it's missing. Oh, but I got a great idea. Yeah, just so happens I have a great idea. That's yeah, that's why it was of, funny when it showed that I was like, oh, good, Dave wasn't right. Yeah, yeah there was a couple I'm, of I'm, big. I'm a lot wrong name, right? <laughs> A oh. couple of big takeaways there. They had oh. barrels of the the super juice that we saw earlier on. They had barrels of the stuff. So that answered our question so from the last no one. shortage yeah. there being yeah. able to make it. They refined the crystals. We saw that. And I don't even think Silco can really control Jinx. I think he's just kind of enough keeping a handle on her. And I think we saw that uh, in this episode that, you know, who knows what's going to happen with her. Does I it feel powder's going to take over. Sorry. Oh, does yeah. it feel like Jinx they've packed just an incredible amount of storytelling into only four episodes? Yeah, I no feel filler. Like, no I filler feel, episodes here. I feel, zero fat. I feel, zero feel fat. like... You know, we've been told so much story, and there's so much that's happened in just four episodes. Like, it's, it almost feels like each episode is like a half season. Like, hey, mm -hmm. we're just on season four. No, yeah. it's just uh, just episode four <laughs> in the so first four. season. They're like, screw it's that, crazy. going slow. We're, we're just going to get right into the meat uh, of the matter right away with each each episode. Yeah, and we're so used to, look, even, even the best of, uh, whether it be a TV show or an animated series, even the best of productions uh, always feel like they have – one or two filler episodes or you know uh, a, a lull in the action to try to advance the story or maybe world build a little bit and it doesn't seem like they've had to do that it's like they've kept building on to the story without that typical yeah. lull that we see when they're trying to do um, just plot development, and yep. it just doesn't seem like that's happened here. I think they've involved just about everybody in every episode who's still around anyway, so I think that's why you get that feeling of it's all action because everybody's still involved. I was going to say, even if them. people that aren't around, as we yeah. saw Milo again. Yeah, with the flashback. With, and the goggles. With yeah. the time yeah. jump, do you does it feel now – like we still lost like the main characters. It, it, so it's, it feels, it's, like I mentioned, yeah, I don't know if it made the cut, but it feels just slightly different you know, without Vander, yeah. Milo, Clogger, with the original crew. Yeah, with mm. everything having advanced, it's like you saw them as the catalyst, which made our characters now who they are. Now. I guess I guess I didn't I didn't get that vibe, and I think that's a big part of how effective the time jump was. Like if it was if it went from we lost everybody to tomorrow then you have to present like okay well what, what do we do now what is yeah, what does our world morning. look like without them the morning after the day after the month after but they just did this like uh, maybe about 10 or 12 year time jump i think it's fair to assume that yeah. and i feel like it really kind of took the sting off of having lost some main characters mm -hmm. because everybody else had advanced so much we didn't get that Okay, what what do we do the day after, or what happens? Do we get a we get you know some sort of funeral service or yep. goodbye or nothing? It's like nope, it's just ten years later, yep. and it felt like it worked really well. No, yeah, I agree. Uh, I'm I'm not saying that in the negative way of like oh you know I miss Vander violent. It, they, they're doing it really well where, hey, you know, hey, that was these three. Yeah. Now we're on to this next one. They're not upset. giving you they're not giving you a chance to miss them because no. the action just, just keeps, keeps going. going. It's like yep. you can't stop and miss them because you're going to be left behind if you do. The show is just it's just throwing you forward. Without Scott Gimple takes some notes. <laughs> Phil, just just here, here, it's showing that he go. always got to move here, forward. Here, 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 we're done with fear. Here. Now we're on to the other main stuff. Scott here Gimple takes some notes. No filler episode. Episodes. So there you have it, Scott. Take notes. So for Diamond Dave Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I am, of course, the answer. We'll catch you on the next one, pals. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's loud. Somebody's a keen shot. Careful, yeah. birds. You got might the, be next. Got the range going on there, yeah. Is that powder? A single shot? Nice. What's going on here? Hey, oh, that's she's totally got on like a court. Yep, oh, yeah. a different color. Yeah, it's like yeah. a challenge course. They're not even on skis. <laughs> there you go, in between the dots. Oh, neat. Nice. <laughs> hey, it's... Uh, yeah. Yeah. A little bit of a flashback. Yeah, it's got to be. <laughs> a little bit of the monthly.
A little bit of the bubbly. This looks a lot nicer than what we're used to seeing in the city. Is this the capital? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Did my parents pay you to let me win? That's a serious accusation. You held your shot. I saw you. The trophy is yours. You earned it. You haven't answered my question. Oh, so she's always had that uh, kind of vibe. I just thought you deserved it. Nobody likes to win like that. For me, knowing how to handle this weapon means being able to protect people. And that's trophy enough. Plus she has like 10 of them at home, probably. <sighs> oh, I like that. That was a little, nice little, little back flashback yeah. to the now. What are you here for? My sunny personality. <laughs> you attacked an inmate. He was a witness in an ongoing investigation. Mm. Bummer. <laughs> <laughs> Give Silko a kiss on that winning eye of his, will you? The industrialist. Okay, this is getting old. Can you just send in whoever's gonna kick the shit out of me so I can get on with my night? Does this mean anything to you? Oh, oh yes, it does. Where did you get this? You work for Silco? Uh, they all do. How can anyone not know that? Where did you find this? <laughs> This is evidence. I need proof if I'm to believe what you're saying about Silco. I could get it for you. Just not from in here. In what mad world would I trust someone like you? You enforcers are all the same. Just asshole criminals in fancy uniforms. You know what? Find Silco yourself. I will. Thank you. Thunder said he's going to eat you alive. <laughs> I've got orders from Councillor Talis concerning inmate 516. Not cooperative, huh? You, uh, you want us to have a chat with her? Guy's voice is familiar. How many chats have you had with her? You know, I never even thought to count. <laughs> That's our guy who was doing the beating, I'm betting. Gonna see a hell of a team up. Mm -hmm. Oh, that girl is <laughs> out. <laughs> Brave enforcers sacrificed their lives to defend the values of our great city. To some, they are mothers, sons, daughters. Look at the artwork on the faces. Oh, nice shot. Who was this, Daddy? Oh, he's a dad now. Yeah. A good woman. You said you could control her. I lost six officers. Oh. She pushed it too far this time. The council's up in arms. I can't make this go away for you unless you give me something to work with. Arresting her would be doing you a favor. I don't need favors. I need you to do your job. Oh, what a mirror. She had a deal with Vander, he has a deal with Silco. Mm -hmm. It seems to me the council has its culprit. Oh, that's tidy for you. What if I'm not interested in playing along? We've accomplished a lot together, Marcus. Sheriff, and there is more yet to achieve. I hope you can remain a part of it. Oh. <laughs> what about our pledge to improve lives for the Undercity? Look, I'm sorry I didn't announce our other projects in my speech. There are people who need our help now, Jace. You wanted to see me? Have your people ever reviewed these logs? Mr. Talis, I assure Counselor. you. Counselor. <laughs> I've made a list of suspicious transactions. Oh. You sure you don't want to confer with the other counselors before? This corruption runs deep, Sheriff. I intend to root it out. And you're talking to number one guy. Yep. Chief suspect is an undercity gang. <coughs> they call themselves <coughs> they Oh, boy. Ugh. He doesn't have a lot of time left. That's why I think he wants uh, the work on the hex gates, huh? Yep. Victor, you all right? The headache. It's... I need to get to the lab. Did, did he not notice that? Uh, he the blood on his face. He had to have no, yeah noticed the bloody nose. All about these rooms. They form some kind of mathy, magicy gateway to the realm of EBGBs, and this turns it on. So, here goes. Oh, she's trying oh, to boy. It out. <laughs> Jeez. Yep, giving yep. her a little bit of a flashback. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh, 
control. Hey, she controlled it this yeah, time. Yeah, I though. mean, that could have been a lot Slightly. worse. Slightly. No. No, it was a mistake. Oh, it's like in Pittsburgh. Parkour. Yeah. <laughs> Parkour. <laughs> Parkour. Parkour. She needs to just, yeah, she just has to go. You can't, can't waste time and think. <laughs> oh, is that so? <laughs> it's the same as when we're in the wrestling ring. Yeah. If you're on the top rope, you can't think about it. You just have to do it. Look at that. Oh, that's some ups. Oh, that was a pretty cool <laughs> shot. <laughs> His whole sequence is pretty crazy. Yeah. Showing us too what Fi is capable of. She's back. Mm. These creeps. Nice jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the lanes. Yep. My little sister could do that when she was seven. All us fisher folk can. Don't you want to blend in? Probably should. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in the she got him can. in the dumpster. It said that the arcane speaks through them. I'm still not following. They think. They adapt. You think Hextech can learn? <laughs> Are you sure this is safe? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Hextech can become self-aware. Yeah. What was frog legs? Yeah, frog oh, legs. interesting oh, choice. Of... Have I missed these? Mm. Some kind of slug. Are you going to question him Yuck. about what? To me? <laughs> <laughs> We're here because I'm hungry. Do you know what prison food is like? No, of course you don't. Unbelievable. I didn't break you out of jail to eat. I knew this was a terrible idea. You don't actually know anything, do you? Oh my god. Look at her just smiling. <laughs> that merchant formerly enjoyed certain leniencies with regard to her trade in exchange for her generous academy patronage. You mean corruption. Mm, Amara's harmless. Look at those two stooges. <laughs> Stooge. <laughs> they share a taste for the fine and Noxian spirits, technically an illegal import. Oh, the neck roll. Mm. There are those who covet your power over the wealth the Hexgates afford and would take any opportunity to seize it from you. You've just made yourself everyone's common enemy, Jace. You know, with her saying that now, I wonder if he makes it to the end. <clears throat> Those are the games that they used to play. Braids were that long. What's the matter, Milo? Before he powers to beat you again? She's still hearing the voices. Vi well, look at Vi as all the... Oh. Well, that was <sighs> aggressive. Looks like it's been a while. Now watch, she's just going to rock this thing, isn't she? She's going to beat Vi's scores. <laughs> oh, look at that. What makes you look so strong? Jeez. Oh, see Jeez. how they're intertwining Damn. her and Vi? Yeah, the animation is just awesome. Oh, oh couldn't just a beat her. Short. <sighs> That's going to burn her up. Well, that place does look like it has bodies buried in the basement. <laughs> mm, be surprised. You don't know anything. <laughs> a lot has happened at that place. <laughs> Snarf. Snarf. I can't compromise the safety of the hex gates for collateral. No one's asking you to. These are simply favors amongst friends. Simply favors amongst friends. 
Thanks. You're a symbol of the future now, Jace, whether you like it or not. With that comes the potential to shape your own destiny. The Council assumes you'll fail. Time to prove them all wrong. Yep. Counselor Talus, he's just as precocious as ever. <laughs> <laughs> precocious. We're currently looking for new partners in our Hextech research. And as a supporter of House Talus, you'd be the first in line to any of our advancements. Sure, that laser beam thing. <laughs> <laughs> Cold dead hand heart shake. It's been quite the investment. Indeed. Better than expected. Look at all these partners. Yep, just gotta grease the wheels. Play the game. What is that thing? It's like a violin with a horn on it. Tuba. Tuba on the back of it. <laughs> Schnarf loves it. Oh, uh, he's gonna start seeing some things, isn't he? <laughs> Wicked laughter in the distance. That is good Yeah, this is all new to Caitlin. Yep. Oh. I didn't think you work here. <laughs> I will not. You know what your problem is? Please, tell me. Blending in? If you really want people to talk to you, you have to let them think you have what they want. And what do I have? You're hot, Cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I I'm Pam. What's your name? Matilda, but... <laughs> You can call her whatever you want. Yes, Matilda. <laughs> <laughs> Would you believe it? She needed she her to her. get distracted so yep. she can... This has gone too far. Imagining yourself a hero. One final act to make you the martyr you've always seen yourself as. Ah! Oh! No, he didn't really do it, did he? Then what are you waiting for? Yeah, that's, oh, what, I was that's what I thought. They, that, was that was a good job. Wow. <laughs> Everybody watching along with us had fun with that one. <laughs> By the looks of it, no one down here lifted a finger to stop Silco. A few tried, but Silco's got the muscle and the money to go over the last drop. Things have changed without Vander looking out for us. Have you heard anything about Powder? I have to find her. Oh, she has no clue. Mm -mm. I can have Miguel tell you where to find her. I owe you. Oh. <laughs> Where's Matilda? <laughs> it's only a matter of time before those old street. fools on the council officially accept your research. Yeah, I think that would be an OSHA requirement. The Madadas usually only take from the world. We're not often in the position to give anything back. Oh, so what's her oh, angle? Mm. Oh, they've been kind of teasing this though a little bit. Yeah. I oh! Just, I'm just wondering how legit she is. I don't believe it. Trying to convince me though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, what's he gonna do now? He's attractive. He's gonna, attractive. He's gonna He's figure attractive. out something. Can't figure out why it's not working. You will. Are you headed home soon? I thought we could walk together. Hey, look at that. You know, there's always tomorrow, right? He's yeah. Uh, he's not uh, picking up the vibes, <laughs> no. or if he is, he doesn't care about them whatsoever. No, I think he knows he's got limited time to figure this out. This guy is hyper focused on his work. Whoa. He, on the other oh, hand, dude, is not. You, you seen what's happening? I get the vibe that he's going to go down here while he's out like in, doing, doing counselor stuff. Oh, no. The stress is going to get him and weaken him. Yep. Yep. He's been probably working on that thing for hours straight. Oh, no. Is he going? Oh, it's a lot of. Oh. Oh, yep. He's. Yep. He's going to yep. be done. We're going to lose Victor. Oh man. Well, he uh, said he learns. Uh, whoa. What is, whoa. What is with the blood? Wait a minute. Uh, 
Is the blood the answer? What is happening here? It's like his blood is completing some sort of DNA strand or something. Yeah. I almost drowned in these waters. You told me a million times. <laughs> right. He was like a brother to you. He turned his back and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I've got a new one for you. That day, I let a weak man die. He's talking about himself? Yeah. Yeah, but I just... Report. <laughs> Get baptized in this janky water. That's what it looks like. I'll wake up to the sounds of the silence that abounds. For my mind to run about and to behold the storm. <laughs> this is a pretty cool setup right yeah. here. Are they is this, in the game? Is that's a, what I wanted. Is this in here? Is that? Yeah, that's yeah, that, them. That's, uh, that's what Imagine Dragons okay. yeah. like. Okay. This is cool. Wow. All right, this is pretty cool. <laughs> wow, that's. I just, just, this is mind blowing. Marcus buried in his paperwork. He's trying to fudge. Oh. Yep, what kind of man you gonna be, Marcus? That was no twin bed. That he was holy like back girl. Oh, okay, so he's not oh, that's gone. That's where he goes. The doctors, um, they said, how much time do I have? Rotten luck, boys. Oh, Vi's gonna take her. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. knee! The old jumping knee. Vi? Oh! Oh! oh. Vander had his chance. Ooh! What the hell was that? Oh, remember? Doesn't Wrong. she have like a different arm now? Yep. Oh, oh boy! Oh, she's gives getting her juiced like... up. Oh! No! Oh, oh but it's just the arm, yeah. so she's got control over it. Do you never learn patience? Oh, oh, this is so geez. cool. It's just the oh. arm. What? In a way, it's like the vibranium arm for Bucky. Yeah. Oh, oh Superman super punch. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, oh. Oh, double Never up. mind. Now she's getting fired up. Yep. Oh. It's, it's, oh, oh. it's like a modified rock bottom. <laughs> Because one on one, she oh, can beat him. the old. Oh! Oh! Maybe Caitlin's gonna show up. Oh! Look at Vi. Oh, there you go. Oh! oh, the knee. Here it comes. Oh! That will do it. God, these fights are just incredible. Drop it. <laughs> Where's my sister? Where is she keeping her? Oh, the reveal. You mean Jinx? She works for him. Oh. 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 He's like his daughter. We get no bleak shot? <laughs> That's what it looked like. From one angle to another, it was different. Oh. All right. Come on, Caitlin. Caitlin, yeah, has to show up here. Oh. Got it. She's a uh, sniper. Um, we're seeing mm -hmm. from earlier. Oh, that's not a single shot. She's got to leave her action yeah, now. Now she does. Gosh, this villain just keeps sticking around. <laughs> just yeah. skin of her teeth. Do you ever say thank you? He's going to know we're here now. Yeah. Oh, folds up, goes into a backpack. Oh, I like it. <laughs> oh, right, let's get better. by patched up. You going to help me out, Cupcake? Stop calling me that. My name is Caitlin. But you're so sweet. <laughs> like a cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you know, I wonder if uh, Caitlin will ever tell her uh, who trained her. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure they'll have their moment and kind of confide in each other a little bit here in the next few episodes, maybe. You're making a mess. She's getting... 
better at that man controlling it. A lot closer. Who is that? Oh! (laughs) Had to know Uh, that was going to happen. Man. That was a good one. So good. Man. Guys, that was episode five, Ooh. and this series has not taken its foot off the gas since after the uh, the first three. This has just been incredible. I love that we had the little bit of backstory with Caitlin that then tied into where she was at later. I think we're going to see, obviously, uh, some kind of reluctant friendship come between Vi and, and Caitlin. Caitlin. I think that'd be pretty cool. But, uh, you know, Marcus is having a, like a, con- a question of his conscience. He's looking at the, the picture that his daughter made for him. She obviously, you know, looks up to him as this, you know, do right, upstanding kind of guy, her hero, and he knows that he's not doing the right thing. So I'm really curious to see what happens with Marcus later on. And, you know, Jace, I don't know if he's got so many things on his plate or – you know, he's being pulled in different directions, obviously having uh, some fun there in his downtime uh, with some fellow council members. But uh, nonetheless, we have Victor running out of time. Like he looks like he's got like an hour left. Yeah, honestly, the yeah. shape he's in. I don't know how much longer he's going to go. So I'm just curious to see if if maybe Victor's eventual demise will spur Jace in another direction, because that's kind of been the theme of the show is that. Outside things happen to people, and the characters we have go on a different arc. So I'm just excited to see where it goes. I love that uh, Vi actually got out of prison and is hanging out with Kaylin and going back to her old stomping grounds. And as you saw, some people feared her. And then even at the end with uh, Back from the Dead, so they must have told everyone that she had been off. So that's like... All right, now she's going to really be able to sneak up on some people. And then I love the little cameo by Imagine Dragons. I wish we could have got a little more, but that was really cool. That was really cool how they tied that in. I mean, I haven't seen the music video for this song, so maybe they did an entire music video. But if not, that was still really awesome to Someone see Someone in that. the comments did mention that uh, there was a music video. They said we probably... We're not going to watch it after this because someone else said, hey, don't watch the music oh, it's video. It's probably got spoilers in it. Yeah, yeah. so. Oh, <laughs> yeah. damn it. I was going to say, let's yeah. let's cue it up. Yeah, but pause no. on that for we'll a while. Pause on that. But uh, it was great. And then you see that he baptized Jinx to see, like, that's supposed to take away all of her memories. I, I don't know. Not what all of her right, memories, but. but it's her, it's supposed to, yeah, yeah re, give her a rebirth. Yeah, like, this yeah. is who yes. you are now. Yeah, yeah it, it, so that that's going to be that's gonna be really interesting where that goes. And then, obviously, Marcus fighting right and wrong in his head i mean he 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 had the the whatever he called the bomb or whatever and then there's the picture that his daughter drew of them too yep and you even saw him early on admiring the the tombstone so oh, it's just where are we going from here this is awesome so far i'm loving it yeah i think marcus is uh starting to realize that that uh that line between right and wrong gets real gray and real real blurry um, when you're put in positions like his, you know, of course he's, you know, an enforcer, like they talked about, we're supposed to be, mm-hmm. you know, upholding law, being the, the, the good guys. And, uh, you know, you get put in a position of power now that he's the sheriff and he's, uh, again, that line between good and, mm-hmm. good and <laughs> bad and everything in between <laughs> is, uh, gets, gets pretty blurry. So well, that's an, the an, council's a little dirty too. Yeah. Well, I mean, we saw, we saw Jace making some that deals behind in real the life. scene, some handshakes, right? <laughs> <laughs> want, sketchy How'd politi- they come up with this? Sketchy, <laughs> pol- sketchy politicians making behind the scene handshake deals that benefit <laughs> themselves and corrupting what? the newbie come like on, usual. Come uh, on. No, never <laughs> quite the imagination um, they got. If this is the first time that, uh, that you've caught, uh, one of our reactions to this, I've said it before, but I will say it again because I think it is that important. The visual effects mm. of this this show is just mind-numbing the way, and, and people helped us out in the comments. I had I had mentioned in an earlier episode, like, it looks like it's drawing. It's not like your typical animation, and people said that it was a combination between a handful of different things, which gives it such a unique um, view as far as, you know, the, the viewer experience. Um, but even, like, the <laughs> fight scenes, the way they're yeah. doing the fight scenes... Are cool. just incredible, you know. And we did Avatar: The Last Airbender, which was a ton of fun, but pretty, pretty lighthearted. You know, you know, serious subject matter, but the animation was very lighthearted. And um, we did Invincible, which gave us like some really cool, really graphic, yeah. but very cartoony. It felt like a, a superhero eighties mm-hmm. GI Joe animation. Yeah. It, yeah, I mean, it, well, that's perfect. Go. 
And this, um, it's it's really like nothing we've ever seen before. And each episode, the thing that really gets me is it almost like keeps building on it, if that makes sense. Like as impressed mm-hmm. as you are in the previous episodes, they give you something. Like that flying knee that, uh, <laughs> that fly through to the side of the head. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the fight scenes, the way they're... You know, I want to use the word coordinating or co- coordination. I like they're coordinating these fights. It's not coordinating because it's, <laughs> it's animation. It's it's creating. You think they talked it through. When you're that. watching it, you're like, oh, this fight coordination, and that's how you know it's really good because you're watching it and just thinking like, uh, this is this is incredible. Yeah, you're just getting uh, lost this, in the it. story is great. The, the fact parkour. that um, the fact that uh, Cupcake got Vi out. <laughs> Caitlin, um, because she needed her help, and it's you know so there was uh, some sketchy stuff, and now Caitlin's getting a chance to see what uh, the underworld really looks like. That's a cool storyline there, and that's what um, she always wanted. That's what Caitlin mm-hmm. wanted from the earlier episode. She right. felt like she was being held back and right. in these safe like, jobs. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it looks like me, she was having fun in that little get my place hands dirty. Of course, Vi found out that uh, that the powder's still alive. It's called Jinx now. I mean, there's so much going on. And it feels like Pedal is to the floor from start to finish with these episodes. I just can't say enough about this show. It's it's incredible. I'm curious to kind of piggyback off you. Uh, let us know, folks. Clearly, we're not trying to do any research because we don't want to get spoiled. But when it comes to comments, we do lean on you a little bit. Is there mm-hmm. any motion cap that was done for this? Because you're talking about the fight scenes. So I'm just curious if there's a little motion ah, cap going feels, on. The fight scenes feel <laughs> so realistic that I almost feel like there has to be Maybe some j- motion cap. Could be. It could be because in the games, right? In, they do motion cap. Do yeah. mo- or they do motion cap. So yeah. I'm curious if they did a, a probably a handful of stuff here. So let us know on that. Of course, don't spoil us on any potential of story. But <laughs> of that, let us know. Uh, with, with this episode... I actually liked seeing uh, we're still showing. I don't think we know fully what Vi is capable of yet, which I think is pretty good. We just know she's a badass fighter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, was, yep. We know we got to see a little bit of backstory on Caitlyn now. So the two combined, right? So we got uh, a sniper, basically, and a badass fighter. So that combination, I think, is going to come in handy probably in the last two episodes You're as they're just teasing it here. Mm. That one villain just can't seem to go away. <laughs> yeah, never. She, she always never. makes it, especially yeah. when Vander, and I thought they were smoked in that whole yeah. thing, but yep. well, she made it through that. Uh, the surprise with, uh, you know, I know you guys were saying Mark, uh, Marcus was like dealing with guilt or what, however you guys look. I call bullshit on that. Oh, that dude, hey. ooh, well, no, I mean, look at earlier when uh, he was in the first three episodes. Oh, uh, yep. He, he knew, I don't care if he was a young, naive dude or whatever, he knew what he was doing. And now because of his daughter, That's, I get it. Changes your change, perception. You know, mm-hmm. Or w- whatever. It doesn't even have to be a kid. There's just certain things at a certain time in life that make you see things differently. Obviously a kid for him, but he 's still doing some dumb stuff yeah. <laughs> so he knows well I'm, before the enforcers, I'm not giving him many passes by the way the enforcers were never losing their lives before when uh, I believe it was Grayson is that her name when she I was can't. in charge I'm so bad uh, it was yeah, something yeah, yeah. I think that's what yeah, I, I saw something. in the early help me out in the comments anyways when she was in charge <laughs> enforcers weren't getting taken out they just buried six of them mm-hmm. yeah just right there and he said this wasn't the first time well either. remember right. she did say to vander i can't remember which episode like hey you know they had their deal and no one was getting to this level and now when vander left she did say you know all yep. hell's gonna yeah, break loose so so yeah, but then she left too so then that. you know yeah. she got off too so now with her so and you, now, had your, you had your two guys keeping the balance and, on. and he clearly can't and he struck a deal with zilko just like she did with vander and it's just not. Yeah, it's, it's you, not a fifty. Uh, yeah, he did deal. the wrong. Yeah, she did the. Yeah, Marcus <laughs> did the wrong person to make a deal yeah, with. <laughs> it's interesting with Vander. You cut the head off the snake. You better make sure one that's bigger and badder doesn't grow back in its place. Yep. Because sometimes what you think uh, might make your life easier to eradicate. Uh, sometimes that's not the case <laughs> at all. I am a little worried about Victor, uh, but I think he's going to come up with whatever answer he's looking for just before he goes, or it's going to be right there at the uh, tip. And Jace is going to figure it out well, with him. We, and we still have to figure out what 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 it did with his blood. That yeah. is the other thing too. And Jinx is getting much better with Mighty that. Good at that. Mm. Much better. <clears throat> it's a unlike her. It's a little more stable that mm-hmm. she's getting with it. Yeah. 
All right. Take so, us home. All right. So that was another great episode. So for Diamond Dave, Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. We'll catch you on the next one, pals. Oh, is this going to be Jinx this. being reborn? Nope. Not at all. Nope. Thank you. Way off. This has got to be earlier on where they could go in the water. Oh, right? that looks well, like, oh, that's maybe like not. swimming in the Fox River. <laughs> <laughs> the crystal clear waters. And yeah, there looks like to be a young pitcher. It's got to be Victor, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah that's his cane. That's what I thought. Yeah. And he's got the pinstripes. Look at that. A little steamer. Oh. See, I didn't know he was always like that. Yeah. yeah. Victor. Yeah. I figured there was an accident. Well, there still might have been. They're just not showing it to us. Oh, he's going to fall, isn't he? Oh, for sure. Oh, and he's going to try to go get it. Oh. Wait, what? Silco? Well, it looked like his huh. creepy fingers. <laughs> Whoa, what the, the, hell? the hell is that? Don't be afraid. It's like a giant uh, axolotl. You built this. Looks like toothless. What is it? <laughs> what? See that tongue? It's a rare mutation that I cultivated here. Go on. You're just going to eat some glowing plant you're being offered by a stranger? I don't think he's going to eat it. I think he's going to feed it. <laughs> He's kind of like our friend here. Mm-hmm. Okay, he is like toothless. Aww. The mutation must survive. Can I help? You want to assist me? A little backstory on Victor and all his knowledge. This house is a giant pipes coming out next to him. I suppose your legacy has been well secured. As one of Piltdorver's founders, what haven't you to show for your remarkable life? Hey, he's what, 200? Mm -hmm. I have seen many students. It's a sad truth that those who shine brightest often burn fastest. Hmm. Yep. That was a nice closing shot. Oof. I think Vi's going to get a hold of those. Oh. Listen, I'm sorry for disappearing last night. <laughs> yeah. Duty <Beauty> calls. <laughs> Victor saved my life once. Now he needs me, and there's nothing I can do. Oh, yeah, I remember. It's gonna mm -hmm. jump. Why did you come to me with this? I just... Nothing feels impossible when I'm with you. Uh-oh. Yeah. I'm an exile from my family. What? Why? I fell short of Madada's standards. I don't believe that for a second. You should be with him, Chase. We can't change what fate has in store for us, but... We don't have to face it alone. It's a beautiful painting. Quick little backstory on her. It's nice to have. What is going on with the blood? Blood's still there, too. Yeah. Was that the missing piece that he couldn't figure out? Are you starting to remember now, maybe? Oh, yes, he yep. is. Wonder if, yeah, if he touches it, does it... Oh, oh are you mm. what a tease. Jack. Ugh. <coughs> Who are you grabbing? Some girls. I mean I mean I'm not grabbing girls. Well, other than the those ones, yes. <laughs> Straw. Here, for your troubles. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. Just a little. Oh my god. Oh, we still haven't patched up yeah. the eye. Okay, oh. so we're picking right up from that. Can you do this? I guess so. Oh! oh it's almost like jumping into a pine tree. Oh, pff. oh, pff. Now, who's it? Somebody's always watching. That's our guy from the credits. We lost her. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> Oh. 
Oh, is this like a truth serum? I, I think it's something a little more deadly. Maybe just knockout gas, maybe. Knockout gas. I love how I'm just so wrong in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> just keep swinging for the fences, Dave. Just keep swinging. Does she have a knife in the I arm? feel like you and I got off on the wrong arm. <laughs> it's your sister. She's back. She's with some girl enforcer. Guess she replaced you. Oh. Her back in town, it's only a matter of time before you implode. Silco finally gets the message that you're about as good for our cause as you were for your family. Oh, Ooh. hey. Oh. 10 out of 10, Tuts. I think I know just how to deliver that message. <laughs> oh, that was oh. cool. That perspective. <laughs> yeah, the spin. Mm -hmm. And I just realized this whole time, Jinx, Milo said that in the first episode. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh. Oh, what the hell? What a dick move. That guy's not looking good. You remember our old friend Vi. She was about your age. Her father went on a long trip, and Daddy here assured me that she left with him. Uh. Yeah, because remember Marcus grabbed her. She's in the lanes. That's not possible. There's an enforcer with her. A girl. Roughly the same age. Oh, gonna... He knows. Yep. Just like them, she does whatever she wants. I can't control her. Then of what use are you? <laughs> Some rocking horse. My people are tracking Vi and this <laughs> Caitlin. They cannot be allowed to resurface. <laughs> Oops. Oh, so sorry. Accidents happen. What a creep. Oh. What is this? Is that a plant? Responds to organic matter. Ah. Look at that. Got a little shop of horrors on there. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not, not. <laughs> it could be the key to. Augmenting physiology, extending life, curing you. Well, only lasts for a minute, apparently. I'll have Sky bring Heimerdinger. He might know something that could help. In the meantime, we'll do what we do best. Improvise. That's what yeah. I was thinking. I was totally thinking that. Didn't want to say it. Paul Walker. Oh, hey. ah. Through the kind of people you topsiders don't want to think about wind up. It was never this big, though. Yeah. Well, at least it's clean. That doesn't look like a good place to try to heal up, does it? Mm. Oh, no, she's having visions. Shouldn't have left you. It's all right. I can tell. You have a good heart. Got a good heart. <sighs> mm hmm. What is that? I'm calling it the Hex Core. It's an adaptive rune matrix. Hex tech that evolves. <laughs> What's most exciting is that it reacts to biological matter. There are stories of healing in the jungle. Has he seen it before? That doesn't look good. You must destroy it. What? If ever you've put faith in my guidance, hear me now. I've seen nations destroyed by a single seed, and it looked exactly like this. Yep. It's that thing. It must be destroyed. Wait. No, I won't let you. <laughs> <laughs> I will have it destroyed one way or another. That's your opinion. We'll see if the council agrees. I love how the little, <laughs> the little goat has a mustache, just like you. Yeah. Did you guys notice anything different about Victor? I haven't. Maybe he's starting to get a little healthier. Is he all right? Oh! I, I ordered old man my life. Probably more than that. Ugh, look at his head. Uh, yeah. I do know someone else who might be able to help. Come with me. <laughs> um, follow me into uh, the sure, hole. Yeah, sure, not creepy at all. Follow oh. poor Smeagol. <laughs> Trade. 
trade for what? Weapon. No. But I get it. Thank you. I really. See, I knew at some point she was gonna get it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure she has some other things she could have traded besides her weapon. Well, well that's probably the only thing I was gonna. Oh, true. For now, we need to prevent any further attacks. Short of searching everyone who crosses the bridges, I don't know how we can. Then that's what we'll do. Are you certain? This sort of an order. Do it. We have to protect the city. Hmm. That's not going to make people too happy. Is there anything I can assist with? No, uh, we've got it covered. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. I believe if we set aside our greed and arrogance, we can be one again. We'll take vigilance. We must hold each other accountable. And who holds you accountable? What? That's a good point. The attacks at the Hex Gates and in the Academy Square. Enforcers fear to set foot in the lanes. All under your watch. Call them out. I'm sorry, Professor, but healing this city will take more than just speeches. Time and again, you've warned us what not to do. But let me ask you this. What's your plan to fix this? I see what this is about. Fair. We can't wait for progress. We need a leadership. Oh, man. Oh, he's going to nominate his girl. I believe it's time we gave the beloved founder of our city a well-deserved retirement. Oh. 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 Hit the road. With all those fancy deals Jace is making. Yep. All in favor. With my deepest respect and appreciation, Professor. It's happening. Yep. All of them. Jace made deals with all of them. Oh, shit. I like how they did the hesitation. Mm -hmm. Wow. Damn. Ooh. Snarf is out. Here we... I wonder how this is going to... Oh, holy shit. <clears throat> Going to have to be more careful now. Silco will be watching. Jesus. <laughs> Real touchy. Powder. Yeah. How do you not know if your sister is alive or dead? It's hard to check up on people from inside a concrete cell. What? You don't have she parents? Won't, she won't even recognize her. No. They were killed by enforcers. Oh, there he is. Banter's prodigy. I regretted that we've never had the opportunity to speak. Oh, sold her out. What have oh, you done with my sister? My God, he sold her out for a, a couple vials of shimmer. You were the price of your secondhand family, but Jinx. Oof. You don't know your limits, girl. It's what got Vanderkill, what drove your sister away. And it's why I'm here right now. Yeah, well. You talk too much. <laughs> here we go. I knew they were showing us that for a reason. Yeah, being moment. all unsteady. Oh, and that was her. Oh, that's that not was good. her childhood home, though, yeah. too. Oh, he just stood there. He's gonna be like the cowboy that goes through the middle yeah. of the uh, the I think window. he was good right in the middle of the like eye. Yeah. Wherever you are, light it up, and I'll find you. Oh. Ooh, is this what oh. kind of call oh. though? Is this is this I want to see you call or I want to yeah. take you out call? I don't know. Judging by her powder slash Jinx's facial expressions, I don't think she wants to take her on. Oh, damn. Yeah. God, this oh, is cool. cool. Marcus? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. She sees it. it. Oh, let me guess. The second they lock eyes on each other, cuts to black. What are you doing, Marcus? He's sending him in. the bridge. 
Yep. Make them check everybody that comes in and out of the city. That looks like where Victor went, yeah. No, this is back to when yeah, he was a back kid. back to him. Oh, no. Rio will live. You did this? I thought you understood. The mutation must survive. He just wants the mutation, not the mm -hmm. animal. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I understand now. Oh, he was so bad. He's all caught up now. Look at there's the Rio in there. Yep. Holy shit. Oh, look at this. Yep. Oh. oh. Is she still. Yeah, she's still conscious. How? And she's been upside down for that long. Yeah, skin of her teeth. Well, this is interesting now. Yeah, it's almost like uh, Powder said a the big see you later to Silco. <laughs> oh, she's coming. Powder? Oh, oh boy. she is. I remember she's got that big old Gatling on her. The old too. Jesse Ventura there. Her face looks so different, though. About her. Uh oh. Oh, I thought she was going to like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Powder. I, I tried to come back. I promise I did, but I, I got arrested. I never thought I'd see you again. Are you real? Things changed when you left. I changed. What matters is we're together. What is with this crow calling? Yeah. Oh, uh -oh. look. Who's she? Who are you? It's okay. She's a friend. Savika wasn't lying. You're with an enforcer? Oh, they're teasing that. Mm -hmm. Sister is jinx. Caitlin, just listen. We can work this out. This is a trick. You're playing me. Oh. Powder. It's okay. Stop calling me that. It's Jinx now. Powder fell down a well. You're not a Jinx. God, I never should have. Stop talking to me like I'm a child. Oh. You're a class act, sister. Sister thought I missed her, but you wouldn't miss her. Powder, I'm here for you. Only you. Fire that thing if you want, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to abandon you again. Everyone shut up. Oh, oh, that's so cool. Her insecurities are going to yeah. take over. Oh, there's Casey Jones. No, this just... Oh, no. No. Oh. Oh. Can someone please pick that yeah. up? <laughs> There we go. Right. Caitlin's got Caitlin's it. Caitlin's got Good. it. Good. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, Vi's yeah. finally seeing the changes. Yep. She's seeing that she loves it. Damn it, Caitlin. Ah. <laughs> Great. There they go. Well, that's all they wanted. Nice. Oh. Yeah, she's seen how ruthless she is. Oh. oh, now this just got interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's it, isn't it? Nope. No. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they were going to start spinning them credits. Hi. She gonna have to work so with Caitlyn take, now. Take yeah. five. That's what we're gonna have. Yeah. Oh, oh, there go. I don't even know if Caitlyn's still there. If they took Caitlyn, who no, knows? They, it didn't look to me. It, it didn't, didn't look, look like, like they, they took Caitlyn. They took just her. knocked her out. Well, I didn't yeah. see her laying there. Did you? Maybe I was too hyper focused. No, she was. The, I think they they did like those quick things. Oh. I don't. 
Jesus. I think Caitlyn's still there, which I think, Andrew, you were saying that she's going to be forced now to work with yeah. Jinx. Yeah, I'm just Someone even more unstable than Vi. So this <laughs> should be tremendous for Caitlyn. I'm sure she'll have no problems uh, working with Powder slash Jinx. So, man, I mean, what an episode. This was, uh, this did truly feel like the end of a chapter where for a couple of seconds yeah. the two sisters got reunited and then the work together the, the fire lights came out and uh just didn't go their way uh vi got to see what powder's been up to and how she's changed how she even seemed to like the violence i think that threw vi off a little bit judging by her facial expressions uh that they so masterfully done in the mm -hmm. artwork for this but uh man i've now we're just gonna have to see what happens with Caitlyn and Powder, and you know Marcus has the whole city what appears to be yeah. on lockdown. We're we're getting rid Watching of uh, getting rid of our guy Snarf. He got the old boot because <laughs> they want to go forward with the hex tech, and they don't have time. They don't have sentries like he does. And I want to know what Victor found out. I mean, they just teased that that he said he finally understands what he meant all those years earlier. So, man, this show, it's just, there's like five stories going on mm -hmm. at once and they give you just enough of each one where nothing feels rushed. You feel like you're getting all the information. There's no wasted motion, no wasted time. I absolutely love it. Yeah, I mean, you saw that Jace's uh, schmoozing has uh, worked out that they got rid of him. Cause I mean, he does have a point. We don't have sentries like that. Humans don't have sentries. We, like you do, they have to try and figure this out now, which, you know, obviously could potentially the blow up right yeah, back in their, could blow up though in their face, mm -hmm. or it could get in the wrong hands like we saw the fireflies coming through at the end there and getting them, getting one, and who knows what they're going to do with it. That's what we're going to find out soon. But, yeah, you got to see... My sisters finally come back together. You see, Marcus actually had to listen to Jace, and even begrudgingly, he did it. Nope. So we'll see how that affects the city moving forward. And, yeah, just if uh, Caitlin and Jinx can work together now to go back and try and get Vi. Because now, again, we get... <laughs> First, Vi gets thrown into into jail for how, yep. prison how long, yep. and now she gets abducted. Like I was like, come on, this is our bad husband. It's, it keeps these bad she's, things keep happening. She's been to out her. for like a day. <laughs> no kidding. And she gets stabbed and then yep. gets fixed really quick. So we saw the healing ability of that of those potions yep. that they work lickety split. I mean, she had to give up her her piece for it, but it worked. But ah. Mm -hmm. oh, another great chapter. Then, if that's what uh, you find, folks in the comments are telling us this was crazy and i think like mason quinn said there's about five different stories going on here of course we have um you know caitlin and Vi finally met back up with powder that uh you know was up and down and everything in between <laughs> i was surprised uh, how well it went yeah, init initially <laughs> you know? initially it went well but it well, went sideways yeah, when pretty she didn't, quick when she didn't hug her back uh, right away yeah. you know uh, a little backstory on victor was interesting mm -hmm. um you know uh schnarf saying hey this uh, this isn't good. This isn't heading in the right direction. Was interesting. Of course, we saw Jace and his uh, you know backdoor deals with the council paid off with them voting off uh, Snarf. I'm just gonna call him that. Herm Hermdinger, Herminder, Hermione Dinger. Um, <laughs> Hermione. Uh, but uh, yeah. in any regard, I mean, answer brings up yeah. a really good point. It's like you know there there doesn't seem to be any urgency on his side because. He's been alive for a few hundred years. And Jace, as he pointed out, we don't have that. And especially with, you know, where, where Jace is coming from, it's not just, um, you know, this intention of, hey, we need to help out the people of this city. And, of course, we got to see that things are way worse in the underworld than mm -hmm. previously thought. You know, we thought it was kind of just, you know, people who didn't have a lot, you know, and they were kind of, you know, uh, living on scraps. And now we see that even below the underworld, there's a whole lot of people who have some major problems. So Jason Victor's idea to, to help those people is important, but we do see the bigger plot of Jace potentially losing someone who he said he considers a brother. Um, and the last thing Jace wants is the brakes to be pumped on their research that could potentially save his life. So of course, um, I think uh, I'm just gonna say snarf because he did have that vision. I, I think mm -hmm. he's got the best intentions in mind, but again, he's got. Hey, look, somebody Time? who's gonna live hundreds and hundreds of years can't lecture somebody else about needing to wait and just you know do things the right way. Um, so it's interesting. You know, I talked in our last you know reaction about 
uh, Marcus dancing that fine line between good and bad. And now we see, you know, Jace maybe throwing caution to the wind in order to help his friend. Um, so a lot of really interesting things going on. And of course, the last episode or the last few minutes, we got this major cliffhanger with, um, with uh, Jinx losing the blue orb. And of course, um, Vi after, you know, having finally gotten out of prison for, you know, who knows how long getting kidnapped again. So uh, I think answers assessment, um, I think it'll make the cut at the end that um, Jinx and Caitlyn may have to now work together, not only to save the sister, but to accomplish bigger things. We may see that happening, but the only one way to find out, and that is to watch the final episode. But this was another one, um, complete, just mind-blowing as far as the story development, the action, and everything. Just another home run. Every episode um, has been incredible. Yeah, you know, now it, it seems as Silco does not have any leverage in this anymore. Now that the hex is gone to the, the people in the mask, yep. which I find interesting now because, <clears throat> I mean, we said it, I said it to you in the, when they were in the bar, so don't know if we made the cut, uh, where she was like, oh, just caution, you know, didn't care, just throwing it everywhere. And I like how that was kind of like giving us a little foreshadow of what mm -hmm. it was to come with the ending there. So now those people in the mask have that energy, yep. or the hex. I don't know what's going to happen with that. That vision, I think, I wouldn't be surprised because of how much is going on. That is like a building block now for going into season two. I think like in the last episode, we're going to see second second to last. Last, we're going to see some like big stuff happen around that as these other stories come to basically a basically a close for the most part. <clears throat> um, Jinx and the Caitlyn team up. I think that's going to be fantastic for these next couple episodes because they both, uh, Caitlin did have, saw her at that, uh, we'll just say, incident that uh, Jinx caused. So now Caitlin wants, I like that dynamic because now they made it a conflict for each one of those characters. Yeah, so you're by, working with her? You're working with her? That yeah, sort of yeah, thing. That yeah. was pretty cool. Yeah. So I thought that was pretty cool for those three, but now, of course, Vi's been taken. But we don't really know if they're like, you know, yeah, we don't know the, the fire lights. Or, yeah, we don't know yeah. who's. We don't know who they are. I mean, yeah. they did give us the sign in the beginning, right, of uh, episode four, I believe it was, is that they're trying to stop Soko as well. Yeah, they're trying to get the shimmer. But we don't know yet. I mean, you do. We don't. Okay. Uh, so then the power change. I thought that was pretty cool by Jace by just coming out with a huge power move, getting all those statistics. Um, yeah on him yep. just to get him ruled out and of course whatever kind of deals were being made obviously went in jace's favor now i wonder continuing forward was mm -hmm. like was that a one-time deal for jace where hey now you got we made this deal that deal that's done now yep. it's back to the clean slate so interested to see how that goes and then the victor thing at the end where he said the the, the mutation got to save the mutation right or mut yeah the mutation, mutation yeah. somewhere in that yeah, yeah. He's, he, he has to save it or whatever where he said yeah. he was understanding I think Victor is going on a last desperation move and is gonna go to him and maybe get some kind of nugget but I I, I don't know I don't I think, think it's some sort be of good not knowledge to help him with what he's been doing with yeah. him. slightly but I think I have an, I think. I'm thinking that he's going to get infused with something that he's keeping that mutation alive with mm -hmm. just to buy Victor some more time because of that last desperation. Because he did say he feels some, his, uh, he feels himself well, eroding. Well, you know, so, Diamond Dave and his predictions yeah. this episode, so. <laughs> well, there was wrong all the time, but <laughs> hey, I'm getting a vibe. Yeah, you got to applaud the effort, yeah. though, right? Well, there, was, there was two things I wanted to touch on that I think uh, myself and Diamond Dave caught. I don't know if you guys did, but it did seem like Caitlyn slightly had a romantic moment there with Vi for half yeah, a second. Yeah, there was. Yeah, there was I could see it. Yeah. it was, yeah. She was looking at her, into her eyes just a little bit too long, I think. So yeah. who knows well, if there's something there. And uh, I still don't know. Do you guys think that um, the woman that Jace is, like, whatever you want to say, working with, infatuated with, whatever, because I know she seemed like she had some ulterior motives when they started. Mm -hmm. I still don't know if I trust her 100% yet. I don't know either because, yeah, like he came in all distraught and was like laying there. And because yeah. they do such a great job, you can't tell if she was showing like, 
like feelings of like she's like you should be with him like so that's kind Keep of a good play going. how they're doing that yeah, yeah. Well, that'll be an interesting one to see how that plays out but i do get vibe that she may not have the best of intentions but sometimes things start off that way and you know what love will love will do crazy things to you <laughs> in it's fairness to say his love is blind in fairness she was hesitant Slightly on the vote. On the vote, yes, she slightly. Was. Yeah, yep. she slightly. thought about it. Because and I did like how they made even Jace do like the pause, like, ah, need to do yeah. it, they yep. to do it. And then uh, our guy Snarf, he had that vision too of the hex, like destroying everything, because he looked into it and he saw something. So obviously he knows something they don't know. Oh, we're about to hit that final chapter of the final three episodes of the first season. Something like that. How are you guys so, labeled that? Yeah. It's going to be great. So for Diamond Dave Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. We'll catch you on the next one, pals.